we learned the properties of the graph of y equals a, x plus p squared plus q. Let's open it up. The square becomes x squared plus 2px plus p squared. Multiply by a, we get ax squared plus 2apx plus ap squared plus q. Compare it with the general form of a quadratic function y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, we find that b is equal to 2ap. c is equal to ap squared plus q. We already knew the properties of y equals ax plus p squared plus q. If we can transform y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, to y equals ax plus p squared plus q, we will know the properties of any quadratic function. The process of this transformation is called completing the square. Now let's see how to complete the square. We want to transform y equals 2x squared minus 8x plus 5, to y equals ax plus p squared plus q. Let's take out a from the first two terms. This becomes 2 times brackets, x squared minus 4x, plus 5. If we open up x plus p squared, we get a times, x squared plus 2px plus p squared, plus q. By comparing these two, we find the coefficient of the x term, minus 4, is actually 2p. Therefore, p is minus 2. In order to make it a complete square, we need a term of p square. But it is not there. So let's add it and subtract it in the brackets. Since this adds and subtracts the same value, it doesn't make any difference. So we add and subtract 2 squared in the brackets. The square of 2 is the same as the square of minus 2. Therefore the sign of p doesn't matter. Now, x squared minus 4x plus 2 squared is a complete square. So inside of the brackets, it becomes x minus 2 squared minus 4. Multiply 2 into the brackets, we get 2x minus 2 squared minus 8. Remember to add the third term 5. We finally get 2x minus 2 squared minus 3. The general steps to complete the square is. First, take out a, from the, the first two terms. Second, add and subtract the square of half of the coefficient of x to make the complete square. Third, open the brackets and combine constant terms. Let's look at another example. y equals minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 5. We take out minus 2 and get minus 2 times, x squared minus 3 over 2x, minus 5. Half of 3 over 2 is 3 over 4. So we add and subtract the square of it in the brackets. So inside of the brackets, we have x minus 3 over 4 squared minus 9 over 16. Multiply minus 2 inside, we get minus 2x minus 3 over 4 squared plus 9 over 8 minus 5. This gives us the final result, minus 2x minus 3 over 4 squared minus 31 over 8. We know how to complete the square now. But what's the purpose of doing this? We know by completing the square, we can write y equals 2x squared minus 8x plus 5 into 2x minus 2 squared minus 3. From this, we can know the properties of the function and the graph. Since 2 is positive, the parabola opens upwards. The line of symmetry is x equals 2. The vertex is 2, minus 3, and it's the lowest point. When x is 2, there's a minimum function value of minus 3. The second purpose is to solve the quadratic equation. If 2x squared minus 8x plus 5 is 0, then after completing the square, 2x minus 2 squared minus 3 is 0. From this, we can get x minus 2 squared is 3 over 2. So x minus 2 is plus minus square root of 3 over 2. Therefore, there are two roots for x, they are 2 plus minus root 3 over 2. Now let's complete the square for a general quadratic function y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. First, we take out a. This becomes a, x squared plus b over a x, plus c. Half of b over a is b over 2 a. So we plus and minus the square of b over 2a. Inside of the brackets, it becomes x plus b over 2a squared minus b squared over 4a squared. Open the brackets, we get a, x plus b over 2a squared, 
minus b squared over 4a plus c. Combine the constant terms, we get the final result as a, x plus b over 2a squared, plus 4ac minus b squared over 4a. From this, we know the line of symmetry of any quadratic function is x equals minus b over 2a. The vertex is minus b over 2a, 4ac minus b squared over 4a. The min or max value is 4ac minus b squared over 4a. In this class, we learned how to complete the square. Take out a from the x squared and x terms. Add and subtract the square of half of the coefficient of the x term. Make the complete square. Open the brackets and combine constant terms. The line of symmetry is x equals minus b over 2a. The vertex is minus b over 2a, 4ac minus b squared over 4a. Min or max value is 4ac minus b squared over 4a.